let's start the today's class. Okay, can anybody tell me what is the date today? Okay, it is 19th of January 2021 and the day is, student, the day is Tuesday. Okay, student, all of you have the construction box now. So, you just uh, um, open it, hurry up. And uh, we have seen what are the different things in the construction box, okay? Yeah, what we have seen in uh, when we just open the construction box, there is a ruler, compass, pencil, eraser, protector, divider, and a setter square. So we have all the familiar about the dif uh, different shape of these different things, okay? So what, can anybody tell me what is the shape of the setter square? Can anybody tell me? Yeah, Reena, very good, Reena. It is a triangular shape, okay? So, our today's topic is what? Can anybody guess? Very good, the triangle. What is the today's topic? It is triangle. So, how can we distinguish from the, among the different type of the figure, whether it is triangular shape, whether it is not, can, how can we distinguish? What are the main thing which distinguish from the given figure? It is of a triangular shape or non-triangular shape. How can we distinguish? Can anybody tell me? Just try. Very good, Sheila. Yeah, we can. We can. We have seen that there is must be a three line segment. It means a figure have three line segment. Uh, maybe uh, it be a triangle, isn't it? Okay, so can anybody uh, try to define the triangle? Can anybody try to define a triangle? A figure having three line segment is called a triangle. You mean to say that this have this figure have a three line segment, isn't it? So is it a triangle? This figure have also three line segment. Is it a triangle? No. So what is the missing term? What makes it be a triangle? Very good. A three a figure a plain closed figure you must have to say that a plain closed figure having three line segment or we can also define it a plain closed figure which is formed by three line segment is called what a triangle okay so you all of you just open your notebook and write it down the definition okay so the definition is A plain closed figure having three line segments is called what is called a triangle isn't it and then we just draw a small triangle from the right side of your notebook with the help of pencil not of the pen and we just name them by a b and c okay so this figure is closed and this figure formed by three lines in it okay and it can be written as We just draw a small triangle and just write it down the name. In this figure, the name is ABC. So we can represent it this triangle by triangle ABC, isn't it? So a triangle half, a triangle is formed by three line segment. Now we come on the parts of the triangle. How many parts of the triangle? Parts of triangle. Okay, so it is clear from the definition that a triangle formed a plain closed figure having three line segment is called a triangle. So it has how many parts of a triangle? So it has mainly three parts. Very good. Okay, so basically a triangle have how many parts? 
a triangle have three parts. Okay? Now, what do you have parts? We have seen here. First one is vortex. Okay? And the second one is sides. And the third one is what? It is angle. Okay? Now, we will discuss one by one here. Vertex. So, how many vertex? Since a triangle formed by three line segment and each line segment meet at the point. So, there are three main points and these three points are called a vertex. So, a triangle have how many vertex? Vertices? Three vertices. Namely, vertex A, vertex B and vertex C. Clear? Okay. And now we will come on the side. So, a triangle... And it is familiar that a triangle having three line segment, a plane flows figure having three line segment. Okay. So, uh, there are three sides. Namely, AB, BC and CA. Okay. It is clear in the figure AB, BC and CA. Okay. And how many angles? So, firstly, we have shown in the figure the angle A, angle B. And angle C. So, in this way, there is also three angles in a triangle which is written as angle A, angle B and angle C. Okay. So, students, what we have learned today? We have learned the definition of the triangle and the parts of the triangle. Okay. So, your home assignment is you just go home and just base the different colorful triangle on the chart paper and just bring it in the tomorrow classes okay so till then bye bye thank you